Yo, what is up guys, the Mills back with a brand new video, and we're back on some more Call of Duty World War 2. Before we get this video started, make sure you grab a seat, make yourself comfortable. Actually, scrap that, just just sit on my lap. Sit on my lap, you dear little slow. I have a little story for you guys, and uh, when demio has got a story going, you know it's gonna be a good one. Now, as you can tell by the title of the video, this is the story of how I lost my first ever fight. And I'm not talking about like a boxing fight or something like that, no, I'm talking about like an actual fist fight. Like, no protection, just straight up like actual fight. Now before we get into this, I want to make it very clear, I'm not a fighter. I haven't fought anybody in I don't know how many years. I don't fight. I'm actually a huge pussy. I'm not that much of a fighter. In fact, I kind of consider myself just a little bit of a pacifist because whenever it comes to conflict, when it comes to drama, when it comes to actual fist fighting, I tend to stay out of everything. I don't really like confrontation that much. Oh, back in the day, I used to love it. <laughs> I was a huge attention seeker. But anyway, let's get into the story of how I lost my first ever fight. Now, I can't exactly remember how old I was when this happened, but take my word for it that it was around 13, 14 years old. And this story takes place in my first ever year of secondary school. And back when I was 13, 14 years old, I had this friend, well, we weren't really great friends or anything like that. We're not even great friends to this day. But I had a friend, let's call him Luigi. That's not his real name, but let's just call him that. I honestly wonder how ridiculous it's going to be referring to this guy as Luigi for the entire video. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Now this guy Luigi, he used to take my bus back then. And there were quite a few people who used to take our bus back then. So it was me, Luigi, and I'd say about four other people on the bus. And us being 13 to 15 year olds, we were quite immature and seeing as, you know, it was just our brand new year into secondary school, a lot of people kind of loved drama and loved attention, and a lot of people would talk shit to each other, make jokes at each other, try to roast each other. Because that was kind of seen as the big thing that you had to do to kind of prove yourself, because everyone just wanted to be the big kid on the block. Including me, I'm not talking shit about anybody. When I first came into secondary school, I was a huge attention seeker. I used to start shit with everybody. Uh, that's, I can't really say the same anymore today. As I said, massive pussy over here. But but seeing as the whole atmosphere of these bus journeys was just a bunch of people roasting each other, making fun of each other, I cared a lot more back then about what people said about me than I do today. Back then, I kind of had this mindset where if somebody talks shit about me or if someone makes a joke towards me, I have to retaliate and I have to say something back in defense for myself. But everybody was just kind of messing around, roasting each other, all this and that. And even though back then I tried to defend myself a lot of the time and retaliate towards people if they talk shit to me, I was still the vulnerable kid kid who could easily get bullied, everybody had a lot of shit to talk about me, especially since at the time I had actually been doing YouTube, and a lot of people actually critiqued me over my videos, and that was a huge thing that I got bullied over. Can't talk shit about me now, I actually upload good videos. Haha, uh -huh, I, I fucking wish. But anyway, back then I used to take shit a lot more seriously than I do today. And this guy Luigi that I mentioned was one of those people who used to talk a lot of shit, and just really just make fun of me. And me being the little rebel that I was, I had to stand up to this kid, and this guy said something, I don't exactly remember what it was, but he said something and it really got to me. It pissed me off and my only way that I knew to react was to make myself seem bigger and tougher than I really was. And so this guy, Luigi, he said something about me and it really pissed me off. I don't know exactly what it was, as I said, but he said something and it really got to me. And because what he said pissed me off so much, with everybody on the bus, all these people, I'd say about six people in total, including me and Luigi, I looked at this guy very, very seriously and I asked him to fight me. And this is where everything got a little bit more tense. Everyone was like, oh shit, there's gonna be a fight between the two. We've never seen Brandon fight before. Not many people back then actually knew what I was capable of when it comes to fighting. There were probably only about two of my friends from the entire school who actually knew what I was capable of when it comes to fighting. And one of those people actually being Luigi. So I asked this guy for a fight and the tension in the air was just crazy. Like everybody was just like, oh shit, this is actually going to happen. What day is it going to be? I'm pretty sure it was a Monday. I can't exactly remember really that well, but I'm pretty sure it was a Monday. I don't know why I asked this guy for a fight. I knew I was vulnerable and I knew that I really wasn't that good of a fighter. I have no idea why I challenged this guy. Now, I'm not saying this to like talk shit or anything, but this guy wasn't the most incredible fighter ever. He didn't have any training that I knew of anyway. He was definitely a better fighter than me, but he's quite average to be honest. And I know he might actually watch this video and I'm not saying that to slag the guy, he's just an average fighter. The only difference is that I was below average. In fact, I was completely terrible at fighting. I had no knowledge of basic fighting. So I asked this guy for a fight and it was pretty much organized and it spread like wildfire around the school. A shit ton of people heard that me and this guy are going to have a fight. So the way that my school is made is that there is a park beside my school. And back in the day during lunch and stuff, people would actually go to this park just to chill and hang out and talk and all this stuff. And I can't exactly remember if this fight actually took place during lunch. I'm pretty sure it took place after school because 
Whoever lost that fight would probably not want to deal with the amount of shit that they were going to get if they lost, so therefore it would have been after school, not during school. Especially since they probably didn't want the school to find out because everybody would be talking about it, the school would just be in a massive shitstorm, and quite frankly, we didn't want to get caught. Since the school was so close to the park and we were wearing our uniforms at the time, we didn't want to get in trouble because the school would say that we were representing the school badly or some shit like that because it wasn't a public place, like people could see us. And so we're walking up to the park and we got people who are on my side, we got people who are on his side, everybody's just kind of talking and there is just so much drama going around, so many people just talking and giving their opinion and saying like who's gonna win and all this stuff. Nobody exactly knew if I was going to win or if that guy was going to win because nobody knew that I had absolutely no idea how to fight. And so the time comes that me and Luigi are finally going to have our fight, it's basically Mario Brothers at this point, but the time finally comes and me and Luigi are about to have our fight. We're in this playground and I don't know how how many people from the school came to watch it, which makes it even worse, because I had already been super nervous going into this fight, just because of the fact that I'm about to actually have a fight with somebody. You know, the adrenaline's pumping, I don't know what to do with myself. You know, you can imagine, I'm like an 11 year old who's discovered porn but hasn't discovered masturbation yet. Like, I'm just sitting there with this adrenaline pumping through my body, I honestly was surprised I didn't fall into an epileptic fit. So I stand in front of Luigi and there's somebody who calls a countdown and basically just initiates the fight and tells us when to start. And this is where the good part comes in so the fight starts and I'm looking at this guy and I don't even have my hands up like I knew so little about fighting that I didn't even have my hands up in front of my face to protect me I seriously thought it was a good idea to have my hands down not protecting my face whatsoever and try to swing at this guy from I don't know how far away now this is probably gonna give you guys a hint as to what happened next but I'm just gonna give a disclaimer the ground was wet that day, and we were in a playground where there's kind of like this rubbery kind of material on the ground. It must have rained or something because the ground was wet and it was a little bit slippery. And so the fight has started, and my first instinct was to throw a punch. And this is where everything basically just goes downhill for me, and oh, uh, you can imagine, I love revisiting this memory. And so I swing a punch at this guy, and for some reason, I kind of expected to throw one punch at his face, and the entire fight would be over. Oh no, that's not what happened at all, but remember as I said earlier in the story, the ground was a little bit wet, so what happens is, I throw a punch at this guy, and I'm sure you could guess what could happen next. I slipped and I fell onto the ground and the, the worst part is I didn't even hit the guy. I threw a punch, it completely missed, I fell to the ground and what happened next was basically just a massive ass kicking. And I tried to get back up after I'd fallen but it was already too late. The guy was already kicking me, he was already throwing punches at me, he got me completely flat on my stomach, he climbed on my back and started throwing punches to the back of my head and people were trying to pull him off because, I don't know, they probably thought that I was going to get a fucking concussion or some shit. Like as much as people wanted to see a fight, they didn't want to see anybody get like seriously hurt. Or at least I think they didn't anyway because then the fight wouldn't have been called off. But Luigi, he's on my back. <laughs> <laughs> but Luigi, he's on my back, he's throwing punches to the back of my head, and I don't really remember them hurting that much. The punches to the back of the head weren't as bad as what were going to happen next, because what happened next is people tried to pull this guy off of me, but as they were pulling him off of me, he started stamping on my back, and that hurt quite a bit. I didn't like that at all. And see, the thing is, if that was all that happened in the fight, yes, I probably would have gotten bullied about that for a while, but what happened next is, um... Uh... I basically created a meme in my school. As this guy was giving me a straight ass whooping, I decided that at this time, while getting my ass completely destroyed by Luigi, uh, I, I didn't, that, that came out wrong, I didn't mean it like that. I decided that while I'm getting a straight ass whooping from this guy, the best thing I could do was not only put my hands behind my head and basically curl up into a ball because I'm getting the shit kicked out of me, but while I was getting the shit kicked out of me, I decided to say, four words. I said, dude, I had enough. That, that was a massive mistake. There were just a shit ton of people in school. Whenever they saw me walking by the corridor, or whenever I talked to friends or whatever, they would look at me and say, dude, I've had enough. But yeah, I had lost that fight with incredible style. I mean, when you lose a fight that badly, people don't just let that shit go, especially when you're immature and young and like everybody's around the age of 13 to 15. Like people don't just let something like that go. People will constantly tease you about that. And sometimes I do get teased about it today, but it's not as big of a deal. I honestly couldn't give a shit. It's my past. It doesn't really matter. But hey, at least my first fight was worse than my second fight, am I right? 
Yeah, I actually had a second fight after that. Not with the same person. I had a second fight with a completely different person, and I might make a video on that as well. If you guys enjoyed this story, definitely leave it in the comments below if you'd like to hear the story about my second fight. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I'll have my last video run up across the screen. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.